What's up guys and girls, this is Cupco7, and we're back for more Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. In the last episode, you and his friends encountered Kanji, who tried to pet Master Jubei, but Luna keeps butting in and getting on people's nerves, setting up a tag battle, which you and his friends managed to win. Thus, we're gonna continue on into the next episode, so we're gonna head out and do chapter 5 if you guys are ready. Let's do it! By the way, that girl seemed really strong. She was so tiny and cute, I thought I'd be able to scoop her right up, but that clearly wouldn't have happened without a fight. Well, we went easy on them, Chie. Plus, Luna was a weakling to begin with. Yeah, if not for our personas, they probably would have defeated us in the blink of an eye. Maybe Jubilee. Come to think of it, we still don't know what this place is or why we can use our personas here. Well, you guys are standing in front of a school building of some sort. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. But man, the real shame here is that I wasn't able to snuggle that cat. Forget about the cat for once, Kanji. He's not gonna let you do that to him. Forget about the cat already! Have you not noticed that we're constantly being assaulted? At least pretend to be worried. I guess, but we're used to finding ourselves in unusual places. It's not that big a deal. Well, Conti's right on that thing. I mean, you're not wrong, but still. The bigger issue is why we're fighting cats in the first place. That's what we were trying to figure out. Catch up, man. Well, it might sound irresponsible, but since we're all here, I feel like things might just work out. Conti's so positive. Ugh, you just don't have a care in the world. Of course, he's positive. I'm like, you, Yusuke, always so negative all the time. But honestly, it's kind of nice that we're all together like this. Even if Kanji is useless for coming up with a plan. Why are you being such a mean punk to Kanji, Yusuke? That's true. If Naoto were here, things would be completely different. Yes, Naoto, the best girl. Sorry, we say, but Naoto's the best girl. She's over there. Where? What? Wait, where? Really? Is she invisible, Chi? Just ahead. Take a look. Okay. I see her! With... Huh? Two girls? One tiny one and another in an ornate dress. It seems like they're talking. Ah, uh, sounds like a fight waiting to happen. Why you keep jinxing stuff, Yusuke? Calm down. Now it tells alone, and the rules require a two-person tag team. They're not going to attack her. Oh, that's right! Hmm. Huh. But if we head over there, we'll be partnered up and... Wait, who's missing? Who do you think is missing, Yusuke? Yo, Naoto! What are you doing all on your own like that? Be careful! Look who's talking! Wait, Kanji! If you get too close to Naoto! <sighs> Let's go! Kanji, you have to ruin everything now. I'm sorry, but I don't have this keystone you're talking about. Come on, why do they keep changing Nato's voice every single game? That's like an old trend that's getting annoying now. I miss her Persona 4, the original Persona 4 voice. But oh well, let's keep moving on. However, it's possible that I could help you find it. Could you tell me more? Hmm. Doesn't seem like she knows anything. Talking to her is a waste of time. You don't have to be so rude. Yeah, stop being a jerk. Hey, hey, Naoto! Huh? Tatsumi-kun, why are you here? Don't worry about that. Are you okay? I... I am. I just didn't expect that you would be here, Tatsumi-kun. You caught me just as I was asking these people for information. Yeah, stop ruining the moments. Naoto! Naoto! Why are you shouting, Chie? How many of you are here? And it's good to see you, Narokami-senpai. I'm glad you're safe, Naoto. Likewise. Huh. Is this all of us? Interesting. Look, uh, look at here, folks. The best pairing out of the Persona 4. Sorry, Kanji, but I paired these two people up. Oh, huh? You seem awfully collected, Detective Prince. This is everybody we found. So far. All they're missing is Rise and Teddy. I see. For my part, I suddenly found myself in this place and started to explore. That's how I found myself here. 
You're the first familiar faces I've seen. Wait, do you mean you ran into people you didn't know? Did they attack you or anything? No, I didn't run into any issues. I did discover that this is not the TV world, though. You're so smart, Nato. Some of the scenery was familiar, but other parts were unlike anything I've ever seen. There are no shadows here, nor can I hear anyone's voice. However, I can use my persona, and I do have my weapon. In other words, I'm ready for battle. Wow, you basically reasoned everything out. Because Nato's so smart, Chie. Unlike some people in your group, which I won't be naming. Hardly. There's still a lot I don't know. Senpai, have you heard of something called a keystone? I have one. I was holding it when I first arrived. We were told that we can't get out of here without it. I see. So it's necessary to escape. Hmm. So that's a keystone. Uh-oh. It's much more portable than I expected. So, who are these people? Just some random people, Yusuke. Just pretend they're not there. They were looking for the keystone. In other words, they're trying to escape this place just like us. That's right. Huh? Well, hold up! I know how this story usually ends! Cause you keep jinxing it, Yusuke. This worked out quite nicely. I'll have you hand over that keystone now. Yeah, bah. <gasps> no, so what are you surprised about? Oh, I knew it! Because you jinxed it, Yusuke. Please wait. You don't intend on taking it by force, do you? Honestly, she is. It all depends on them. I don't think I'd kill any of them, at least. Wait, what's going on here? Are they seriously trying to rob us of the keystone? That's what I want to know! Why does everyone we run into always end up fighting us? Yeah, why they are so aggressive all the time? They're every bit as much victims of this world as we are. There's no need for violence. You understand, don't you, Princess of the Nightblade? At least she's the second reasonable person they encounter. <sighs> You're always such a goody two-shoes. You think we'll find a compromise in this situation? Ridiculous. Ridiculous though it may be, what's wrong is wrong. Wrong, 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 absolutely wrong! I agree with her. <sighs> this is why I can't stand your absurd obsession with justice. Fine. For now, we're allies. We'll settle this later. If we get back alive, that is. Wait a minute! It's not about getting in a fight later! It's about not fighting at all! Hey! But aren't the two of them fighting? Who are you talking about, Yuko? What should we do? Should we duck out while we have the chance? You should just ran for it when they were arguing, guys. Yeah! Doesn't seem like that obnoxious you-know-what is gonna show up either. Now you just gotta jinx it again, Yusuke, like always. You know what? The robot lady voice thing, Nato. Oh, he's probably referring to me. Yeah, that's right! That thing with the irritating voice and- Come on, seriously?! How is your timing this good?! What?! You thought I would hear you? Well, you thought wrong. I'm practically clairvoyant. She's God. It's like the voices in our heads. Could it be a support type persona user? Not even close, Nato. Uh, whatever it is, it's probably not a good thing that they have a direct line to our brain. Oh, who cares about little old me? Now, how about that tag battle? In the end, it all comes down to this. Good. Hey, moderator, hurry up and start the fight. Maybe that'll shut Aurier up. Don't be mean to your partner. And, hey, why do you keep... Yeah, don't be mean to her. Ask and ye shall receive. Ten seconds until the bell. If entrants are not decided by then, it will count as a forfeit, and the losers will be subject to a truly embarrassing punishment, as per our new rule. Wait, you totally just made that up. That's not fair. Guess we're doing this. Come on, Yosuke. Oh, come on, Yusuke, I want to play as Nato. Me? Yeah, Yusuke's useless. Alright, let him have it, Hanamura. Damn it, fine! Watch my back, partner! 
Alright, let's go with Yusuke and then you. Grab her. Oh, you ruined my job. She's dead. Go, you. Sword fight. How careless. Nice try. How careless. Oh, I missed that. He's in a nice try. Yeah. You. <laughs> How careless. Punishment. Ow. Evil oh, shall not win. win. Grab her. Yeah. Mm. It seems they've outboxed us. We have to retreat, Princess of the Nightblade. Damn. I underestimated them. Looks like we beat them. Jeez. Did not think those two girls would be so strong. They were actually kind of weak. Yusuke. I don't know what you were watching. I'm sorry I acted so rashly. It was your fault, not so it was Yusuke's fault. It's always Yusuke's fault. It was a mistake to bring up the Keystone so casually. I didn't expect that they would attack. It's fine. Nobody's hurt or anything. Oh, right. Naruto kun you're not up to speed yet, are you? Hanamura, explain. Right. So basically... Wait, since when am I the designated thing explainer? Because it, it's because it happened because you keep opening your big mouth, Yusuke. Now start talking. Oh, so you were trying to get information too. At least from those willing to talk. I just ran from anyone who tried to attack me. So you pretty much lie about not getting into intense situation not to? Bad girl. I guess my instincts were wrong about those two though. Ah, uh, don't blame yourself. It's not like they came at you with their weapons ready or anything. That's true. But I made the mistake of dropping my guard to get more information. I swear, if Kanji hadn't gone berserk, maybe you could have gotten something out of him. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't mind. I doubt I would have gotten any useful information even if Tatsumi-kun hadn't appeared. Anyway, I tried asking earlier, but is this everybody that has been brought here from our world? Pretty much. I doubt Teddy or Rise will be joining the fight. They're kind of useless anyway. We think so. Nobody's seen so much as a trace of Teddy or Rise. Well, in our circle of friends at least. So why us? Did they pick us for a reason? Because you guys can fight, Chie. It's not a matter of location. Narakami kun is here after all. Ooh, maybe we're chosen descendants of heroic bloodlines! Eh. Not even close, but it could happen, maybe. Can you take this seriously? Hold on. I think I might know. Oh, you do, Nato? Teddy-kun and Kujikawa-san are both capable navigators. Maybe whatever brought us here wanted to keep us in the dark. Huh? So what? It, it wants to split us all up or something? Something like that, Kanji. No. It's more that... It wants to keep us from evading our enemies. What do you mean? Why would it want that? The humans in this world... Well, humans might not quite be an accurate term. Every one of them knew that someone in our group had a key item, so to speak. It must be the robot lady voice thing keeps hitting other teens about your location or something. You've been getting in fights ever since you arrived here, correct? Yes. Oh yeah, one after another with no time to rest. Cause Yusuke keeps jinxing it. But, if Teddy-kun or Kujikawa-san were here, you likely would have been able to avoid some of those battles. I don't know where the designated goal is, but those two would have made getting there a lot easier. Which would mean, whoever brought us here is deliberately making us hold the key item and enabling these battles with everyone we meet. Pretty much. Which I'm starting to get a little sick of, honestly. Then shut up. Stop opening your big mouth, Yusuke. And always jinking stuff. Exactly. Someone out there has something to gain from all this fighting. And while this is just a theory, I think that the voice we heard earlier is controlling people here to some extent. Right, mind control? At least through the rules it has established. 
Yeah, that voice is the one who keeps starting all the tag battles, too. You guys know she can hear you all this. She's not, like, brain dead or nothing. It's probably designed to encourage the people in this world to fight each other. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. That would mean that the voice is the one behind all of this, right? Obviously, Chie. That, or the voice is simply an emissary. Either way, it's likely that holding on to the keystone and continuing to fight will eventually achieve the mastermind's objective. But, to be optimistic, perhaps the realization of that objective will allow us to be released. You kidding? Whatever this punk's after can't be good. We can't just play along. Kanji brings out a good point. I feel the same way. I don't like this place. It feels as though our memories have been projected onto something abnormal. Yeah, it's pretty creepy, especially the way it mixes in places we're familiar with. If the Mastermind knows everything about us and is arranging all of these fights, should we really keep moving forward? It all depends, Yukiko. It all depends. I don't know. Moving forward seems to be our only option. Oh, it's frustrating to know that we're doing what the Mastermind wants us to do. But I think it's the only way for us to approach the truth. Agreed. Returning to our world is important, but that's not our only concern. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to, but if it's something bad... We'll crush them! Right on, Kanji. We'll beat him up! You too, Yukiko. Haha, <laughs> you ever think we're a little too used to these crazy situations? Well, shatters are nothing compared to this, Yusuke, so you should get used to it. But we've got no other choice! We can't just leave the culprit be, can we? <laughs> no, we can't. But we have to be cautious. If there's any way we can avoid combat, we should. Yeah, come on everyone. We're back here again? Seriously? Alright, we'll stop right here for now and continue on with the next episode. So don't forget to drop a like, continue to follow my channel, and I'll see you next time. Laters.